Hey everyone, welcome to the pilot episode of Beyond the Bubble from the MRIS 51 Mayfield Gardens Gurugram Studio. We bring you your monthly dose of stories you need to know about that dose that goes beyond the bubbles of news that surround us. I'm Rishima and I'm Abhyuga. Before we dive into our lineup for the day, for all those who are watching us for the first time, here's a little about Beyond the Bubble. BTB is a monthly teenage newscast conceptualized and produced by the students of Media Shala, India's only media literacy platform, nurturing creativity and fundamental skills required to navigate the ever-changing digital landscape. And before we start, here's the thought of the month. The past is just data. I only see the future. What do you think about that, Abhyade? I think that's absolutely true. The way forward matters, nothing else. And now, we begin with the first segment, the Teens Weekly. Telling stories that every teen needs to know about. First off, the Teens Weekly for all the stories we need to know. Rockets were launched at Israel by Hamas from the Gaza Strip. This caused an air raid siren in the capital city of Jerusalem and many other communities, which caused a major escalation of conflict amid an outbreak of violence between both Palestinians and Israelis over the past couple of weeks. On 21st October, NCERT has now revealed that they have unanimously decided to recommend the change of the name to, from India to Bharat in all textbooks across the nation. Along with that, they have also suggested to teach us more about the Indian victories rather than losses. What does this mean for us? What does this mean for the heating debate upon India and Bharat? Well, I'm afraid only time will tell. India has officially bid for hosting the 2036 Olympics. And with India hosting the Cricket World Cup this year, it proves that we are capable of hosting such events. With Diwali right around the corner, we can expect the annual drop of the air quality in India, especially in the NCR. So please, can we make sure that we don't make it as worse as last year, this time by boarding less crackers? And now, for everyone's favourite segment, the, the Pop, Pop Rage. First off, Drake streams his way to number one with his new album For All The Dogs. He's done it again with this pop, which opens with the equivalent of 514 million streams. It's his 13th LP to hit number one. The concert documentary Taylor Swift, The Era Tour, released on October 13th, bulldozes its way into the cinemas, breaking the long established rules of the movie theater etiquette. Instead of keeping quiet, fans. Let's be real, it doesn't bother us. Kanye is better, so let's just move on. Oh, please, are you allergic to awesomeness? There's a reason why there is no L's in Kanye West and one in Taylor Swift. And also, Glenn Maxwell has smashed the record for the fastest century in just 40 balls against Netherlands, bringing home the win for Australia. What an absolute legend! Meanwhile, it's with immense sadness and respect as a Mercedes fan, I say that Max Verstappen and Red Bull have won the 2023 F1 season. The Dutch driver has had a dominating season having a record-breaking 10 wins in a row. However, the celebrations in the Aston Martin garage have taken quite a turn. After a successful beginning, the new upgrades have somehow made the car worse. It is evolving just backwards. And now for the in-town insider to see the good times outdoors. The Sunburn Festival will be held in December in Goa with the theme hashtag Life is Calling and will feature over 60 international and local artists across three stages. Ed Sheeran, after six years, is finally returning to India in March 2024 to perform in Mumbai. While we pack in all the fun, remember to keep yourself on top of the list. And now for the segment We Are MRIS, let's move on to our ground reporter Darsh. So ma'am, there is already a buzz going around amongst the students about an event being organized by a school which is known as Lit Fest, maybe around in December. So, can you tell me how the students will organize and plan this event amongst themselves? Yeah, very good question, Darsh. I really wanted to talk a lot about it. It's something um, I am very excited about and very close to my heart. So, I've been looking at all the inter-school events which are happening and since the time I've come, uh, our children have gone and participated in so many events and every school that they've gone, they've won so many prizes. I'm really proud of them and uh, every one of us feels so happy and they make our day by doing simple things like this for us. So I thought why not we post something, an inter, uh, inter school event and on a very different line which I am not finding uh, wherever our children are going. So this name that we thought about it is Lit Mosaic 
and it is crafting world of words so it's about that and when we do that so when we are talking about communication skills so we are not limiting ourselves only to one language it's not only english that we'll have different things we are going to include hindi we are going to include sanskrit we are going to include um, german french everything that we do in our school so uh, so we are um, we are on a way to make a student committee who's going to hold this particular event we are just going to be bystanders right we'll stand and watch how children are going doing everything we'll, we are there to guide them any time that they need us but i want um, their mind to come out yes their excitement their methods uh, their thinking how it can be done better right how do they feel that they can do it very smoothly so they are going to teach us right this is a time for us to learn from them and i am 100% sure that it's going to be a rocking affair and children are going to do marvelous in this particular event i'm sure about it thank you ma'am for providing us the various details about this so finally i would like to know about when well, talking on the topic of events i would like to ask you that will we ever have an mris 51 model united nations since many different manav rachna schools have also held an moa so uh, so we are having very interactive sessions talking to each other and i'm trying to understand them each one individually we are sitting and we are conversing and i'm asking them what they feel about the school and what they want uh, from the school so you know the one thing which everybody has come up with is the question that you told me that why don't we have our own mun because they wanted to organize it so i said okay definitely next year because now already we have attended uh, many hmm. and uh, now the time is very uh, short for us and uh, definitely we are coming up with an mun next session wow thank you ma'am for giving us your precious time we learned about many things today we learned about the events we will be taking place and how your experience was amongst the students and the teachers and the staff as well so thanks again ma'am for being in this interview with me darsh i just want to say that the pleasure is always on mine and i just loved being there and i would just like to tell you one simple thing and to everybody who's be listening that in your life children should be allowed to do what they want to do you should always do in life what you want to do just that do it very simply and honestly mm-hmm. and everything will go perfect in your life so god bless you god bless thank you all thank you and thank you dars for the interview and now it's time for the meme of the week and on that note it's time to sign off folks thank you for hanging out with us for yet another awesome beyond the bubble episode and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our pages catch, catch you later, later.